Coach, if you would start with an opening statement, please. Uh, two good game, two good teams played, and uh, we just came out on the short end of the stick. Sorry. For the that last possession, um, what she, were you? She stepped out of bounds. She stepped out. Are you talking about the last Andy? possession that she, before she scored? She stepped out of bounds. Okay. Um, how can you use this loss to, for the future of the program, to like learn from it, and what can you get out of it? I mean, you learn from losses. Uh, one of my coaches, she said a good, she said, she has a good saying: "It's so no such thing as losses; it's only lessons." Uh, so you you just have to learn from it, like you said. Um, it's it's very painful, um, but for somebody like me personally, I I really hope this pain never goes away. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the interior play of Las Vegas, Liz Cambage, Azer Wilson, and uh, their performance tonight? Can I see a stat sheet, please? Sure. Uh, they, they were good. Um, I thought we held them in check. I mean, we held them to under 50% shooting. Uh, they got maybe a few more offensive rebounds than we would like, and uh, them getting to the free throw line, we wanted to limit them there. But um, they're, they're two all-star players for a reason. And then Courtney Vandersloot, I don't know if everybody saw that, but she's the first player in the WNBA to have back-to-back double-digit assist games since 2003. Obviously makes your offense go. Just how impressive she's been this entire season and here in the postseason. Uh, she's an MVP candidate, you know. Um, she's very special to what we do and how we play. And, um, you know, we appreciate having her. Uh, and, and, you know, we look forward to going in the future with her. It was a game of runs, and the score fluctuated so much, and kind of to have that chaotic ending, March Madness is how Asia Wilson described it. Um, what did you say to your team in the locker room afterwards? I'm sure there was a lot of emotions running high. Yeah, I told them I was proud of their effort. Um, I felt like we deserved that game, not to take anything away from Las Vegas. Uh, they're a great team, uh, but I just felt like we deserved it. and. Um, we just, you know, we have to learn from it, and we stay together. You know, this was a, an eventful season all the way to the end, uh, you know. And uh, we would have liked to be in a situation where we could keep it going because we felt like we had so much more basketball to play. Uh, but it just wasn't the case. With the way you were able to turn this program around in such a short amount of time, how proud are you of how much this team has accomplished? you know, by beating top-seeded opponents during the regular season to first round, elimination, single elimination, and then this game, how they were able to fight to the end? Uh, it really doesn't mean anything uh, right now. I reflect on it maybe in, I don't know, at some point. Um, but now it stings a little bit too much to, like, think about the season and review. I'm just worried about getting us home um, and, and – you know, letting it sink in that, you know, basketball's done for us for the season. Um, but I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Uh, has, has more to do with the team than to do with me. Has more to do with the coaching staff than to do with me. Um, they, they bought into what we wanted to do, and they supported each other all the way to the end, you know, so. Thanks a lot, Coach. Safe trip home. Thank you.